And, and now we have uh, Roseanne and Justin Longo from Longo's from Grocery Gateway. Uh, how are you both doing? We're doing great. Thanks for having us. Nice to see you, Roseanne. Yeah, thanks for having us. Oh, no problem, Justin. This is great. I, before we get into this, I just want to thank both of you. Uh, Grocery Gateway has single-handedly saved my marriage, and <laughs> so <laughs> no, my no, my wife is, and and but yet you know I'm because I'm lazy and a procrastinator. So for me to go to Longos is was you know for me yeah I'll do it tomorrow I'll do it tomorrow would never get it done. Grocery Gateway of course, uh, it comes to your house, it's fresh, it's brilliant, and then my job is now minimal. I just have to move it to the fridge or the counters and stuff. So thank you, like I, I, I wholeheartedly thank you. And by the way, order like eight. 18 waters at a time. That's the key because you can order a bunch of, instead of lugging them from, you know, you can have them just right at, at your house. That's right. That's what we do. <laughs> That's, you make it, you make it very easy for people. <laughs> it saved me through university as well. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, yeah, <laughs> it's true. It's uh, but yet the, but the in Longos experience is still phenomenal. So I guess people are doing both. Oh, absolutely. Grocery gateways growing like day by day, growing double digits, but the in-store experience, um, it, you know, we've been doing it for since 1956. It's all about the people in our store. They're passionate about food. They're passionate about people. Um, and that translates to the grocery gateway experience too, because the people who hand select your groceries for you, we, we have co customer comments that th those apples, those bananas, they were picked better than I would have picked myself because they're specially trained. And then right to the delivery to your door or putting the groceries right up on your counter. I mean, that's just an extension of what you would see in store. Roseanne, how many longos are there now? There's 32 and three more on this docket to open in the next uh, 12 months. 30, 35 longos, and you said this started in 1956. Mm -hmm. So how, how does how does one grow uh, you know a one shop into into 35 and probably even many more? How, I mean, take us through the year, and I, I'm leading to something with this, but I mean, uh, because it's about persistence and teamwork and all this stuff and everything we're doing for the Road Hockey to Conquer Cancer. But uh, I mean, that's an amazing story. Well. Uh, my father and his two brothers, so Tommy, Joe, and Gus Longo, started it in 1956, and it really was about just having a better life for, the, for themselves and their family, and as it's building one store at a time. So as they brought in outside team members to run the stores and to work in the stores, um, it's about creating a, a better life for them as well, um, and, and doing, the, doing what's best all the time for our team members, for our customers, and just providing that great experience. So it really does happen one store at a time. And in 1956, neither of the three brothers envisioned 35 stores uh, 62 years later. Uh, what a what again a remarkable story. Now is is Justin a uh, typical third generation where uh, just burning through the Longos produce or is he, or yeah you're you're working very, real hard to keep this going, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, being a being a third generation, it's nice to uh, work with Roseanne and my and my dad and all their cousins just to see what kind of what my grandfather and, and his two brothers uh, did and and what what they envisioned of what Roseanne said a better life for their family and that's uh, something that we take pride in and even helping out in the community with uh, Road Hockey to Conquer Cancer. And from what I understand, your grandfather ha had cancer, is that correct? Yeah, he uh, passed away in 2011 from uh, leukemia. So, I mean, this this event is something that, uh, as a family, we kind of take pride in, especially being a hockey family, um, something that we were definitely excited to be part of. And sorry to hear, hear about your grandfather, um, but one of the things you're do you've done at Longos is obviously given back, and like you said, with this charity initiative of the Road Hockey to Conquer Cancer, um, much like 35 stores, you're, you're leading, you're leading. I think, the Road Hockey to Conquer Cancer in teams. So, Roseanne, how many, how many teams do you have, Roseanne? We, we created our own division because we're up to eight teams wow. uh, in the last few years, but we've been doing this for eight years. Eight years, and and the, you know, there's the everyone's talking about numbers before the two year coming in here, and and this year it looks like collectively over those eight years, Longo single handedly be responsible for over a million dollars. That's that's yeah. the it's exciting for us. I think every we should just pause and everyone should start clapping right now wherever you're watching. I don't know if it's on your phones or on your laptops, but uh, a big round. Maybe we'll add in a sound effect of some clapping and a big standing ovation. Uh, thank you so much for doing that. Um, Roseanne, uh, just doing, you know, being a part of the Scotiabank Road Hockey to Conquer Cancer year after year and, and getting so many teams involved, um, maybe you could talk about how, you, how that's all coordinated and how that's all done and, and sort of the feeling you get from it as well. Sure. Um, we have an events team. So the, our planning starts probably right after we, we finish the road hockey the year before. Um, and the events team coordinates all our, with our vendors and uh, with our volunteer team members who, who feed these 1,800 players uh, on game day. 
And, you know, a big shout out, what's really, what gives us pride in this event? You mentioned the um, the amount that we raised, but it's it's a team effort. It's not just a corporate amount raised. Uh, our, all our players, 100, our 100 players themselves go out and fundraise as well. Uh, the stores put on barbecues and fundraise, and they really get behind it. And then a shout out to all of our vendors who've supported us over our charitable endeavors for the last 56 years, but especially for road hockey. Um, they really get behind us and, and help us raise that money each year. And Justin, you help coordinate all the teams, right? And get all the teams. Are you a GM? Are you going to run the Maple Leafs one day? What's it? Oh, that, that, that'll be a nice goal to achieve. But no, yeah, I, yeah, I run all uh, eight teams and all 100 players, organizing them. And uh, we kind of have our own little uh, tournament going on. So scheduling that too, it's it's busy. And do the Longos teams get competitive in the Scotiabank Road Hockey to Conquer Cancer? Yeah, oh, absolutely. So we have um, <clears throat> we have a family team. So everyone wants to play against the family and uh, show them who's better and, and try and beat us. But, you know, a couple of years they've they've gotten the best of us. But, yeah, it's everyone's excited to play and, and it's very competitive. It's good. And you do the Longos market. That's right. right. We set up a Longos market and that's how we feed the 1,800 players. So we set up the day before, actually. We start bringing the equipment down and setting up. And then the truck is there at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning, I think, to start unloading to serve a hot breakfast uh, to the players and then uh, fresh fruit and healthy snacks throughout the day. Hey, I would imagine you ran out of water at last year's event. I think it was like 46 <laughs> degrees or something. Compared <laughs> to the first year. The first year, though, we all had toques on and there was snow and frost that morning. So uh, last year was a hot event, though. Uh, which makes it such a great old Canadian event. You never know what you're going to get, but everyone gives it their exact same effort every single time. And with the help of Longos there, uh, making sure we're hydrated and making sure we're well fed, uh, that only helps to to obviously playing very well. So thank you so much for, for doing that. Thank you so much uh, for, for all of your help for the Scotia. Bank Road Hockey to Conquer Cancer and the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation. Rosanna, is there anything else you'd like to say? No, I, thanks for having us. We're so uh, happy to be a part of this in eight years running, and, and we're going to hit that million-dollar mark this year. Excellent. Are we going to start our podcast, uh, Buy the Banana? Yes, we are. Okay. We're going to do that. <laughs> Buy the banana. We'll just go. I like it. We're just going to go, like, we'll walk down the, the Longo aisles and just sort of collect food and talk about what we make with those ingredients, and at the end of it, always end up with a banana split. So. There you go. That's <laughs> yeah, perfect. That's perfect. Uh, and, Justin, congrats on everything you're doing. Such a, you know, a, a young guy, 24 years old, making this all happen and quite an uh, inspiration. Thank you so much for being so charitable and being such a great representative of your, of your demographic and getting them involved in the tournament as well. Oh, absolutely. Thanks uh, Thanks for having us. It's something that we look forward to doing every year, so thank you. Thanks. And uh, again, thanks, thanks to Grocery Gateway. Seriously, it saved, it saved limbs. That's, my therapist even said, more Grocery Gateway. Okay. <laughs> thanks, guys.